I'm YK2012, and I'm going to give you 10 tips ahead of the Tokyo City release in the Upland Metaverse. Number one, and it goes without saying, don't be late. The release is Thursday, August 17th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Make sure to travel well ahead of time to be safe and not sorry. Keep an eye out for Upland's announcements. They will let you know when you can start traveling, and we might be able to expect free travel to Tokyo. Make sure you send yourself to a yellow international airport terminal to fly to Tokyo. Number two, don't forget to collect maximum sends before the release. You don't want to be stuck trying to send yourself and mint a property and you find out you don't have any sends. Now you can even buy sends by clicking the Get Upix button in the upper right hand corner. Number three, if you're just joining Upland and choosing your starting city, Tokyo might not be for you. There will be only a limited number of FSA properties in the city reserved for new players, indicating that the prices are likely to be relatively high. Number four, only a portion of Tokyo will be released and the city will be expanded in the future. Keep that in mind when you decide which and how many properties you want to mint. As a visitor or an uplander, subsequent city expansions might provide you with a better opportunity to get into Tokyo at a more realistic price point. Number five, if you are able to snag one of these FSA properties, know that you can mint a maximum of three FSA properties each day and sell two each week, so choose wisely. Number six, be decisive and quick when deciding which property you want to mint. You will have to wait another 10 seconds in order to mint your next one due to the 10 second cooldown period. Number seven, beware of FSA restrictions. This isn't only exclusively for Tokyo, but for any FSA property that you buy. These properties can be double-edged swords. New players are not restricted to only minting FSA properties. They are typically the cheapest, but not necessarily the best ones you wanna buy. Number eight, your minting range isn't just around your block explorer, but the entire back tail it creates. It's about 18 minutes long and learn how to make use of it before deciding to send yourself to another area on the map to mint. Number nine, holding periods for limited collections are three days, exclusive two weeks, rare and ultra rare, three weeks. Think about if you wanna hold the collection for the bonus or try and sell for a profit beforehand. For the Tokyo release, it's really important to note that there will be no street collections. Before I get to the 10th tip, if you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to the Upland Guide YouTube channel and give this video a like. In the description below, you can find us on all our social media platforms and stay up to date with all of the important Upland news, tips, and tricks. If you didn't mint what you hoped for, not to worry. There will be future expansions of Tokyo, as I mentioned before, and most likely other cities in Japan as well. Anything can happen during city releases, so make sure you have several backup plans. Best of luck in the city release and one week later on the collection review.